So anybody who's a politician and anybody who's a marketer is pretty much a preacher and a teacher. And the reality is that we have to preach about our position and we have to teach about its origin and about its, well, establishment across many situations. You see, when we teach something to someone, they're either grateful for it or they hate it. When we preach to someone, it's the same thing. They're either passionate with us or they're opponent of us, an antagonist like Satan. But in America, we have to consider that every human being is preaching and teaching something. The only question is, what is the impact of what you're preaching and teaching? If you're preaching to their children that they have rights, but you're not teaching them why they have the history and heritage to them, then you failed in that situation. If you're preaching about your business, but you're not teaching people how to access it or utilize it, then you're failing probably in your company. You see, all of America has to work, no matter what age the person is and no matter what special needs the person might have. Because at some point, the parents time out. And at some point, they have to go out on their own and make a living. And a lot of kids go off and shack up with their friends and room make roommates and whatnot. But when it comes time to paying rent, you've got to cover yourself. And if you can't cover yourself, then you're in trouble. So when we're talking about preaching your programs, it's really talking about preaching about your life. And when we're talking about teaching about who you are, it's really about how you're presenting your personal brand. If your personal brand is professional, then you'll go far in life because people will notice and want to pluck you and swipe you and steal you, if you will, out of your position to take you someplace else. But if you're unprofessional all the time, if you're mouthing off all the time, even in your free time, you are not likely to do very well. Technology today can be a leveling of the playing field, but it can also be a way that people who are living in poverty can be abused. So what we have to figure out is what are we preaching and teaching about in our individual lives, in our individual families, and in the way that we go about making a living today.